So here we are again. It's a new year with new adventures and a new camper to pull behind my Bronco. Welcoming to the family, my new Taxa Outdoors Tiger Moth. And it doesn't really matter what we bring with us, just the fact that we're getting out, going on an adventure. So stick with me on this trip up to the Great Smoky Mountains in Tennessee as we uncover a little bit about this tiger moth along the way. The journey started close to home. I stopped by a local Kroger to grab a couple groceries excited to spend the first night camping out of the tax of Tiger Moth. With adventure on my mind, I make my way to North Carolina, where the camper sits awaiting its new owner. And as I cruise these mountain highways, I feel a renewed excitement for what's to come. So I am here in Hendersonville, Tennessee, picking up my Taxa Tiger Moth 2024. So, I guess I'm from the back. I'll, I'll save the cool reveal for later. But, it's my guy. So, looking forward to hanging out in this thing later actually already feels a little bit cooler in here so or warmer than uh so i do feel like that insulation is pretty decent so i'm excited to do a night of winter camping in it let's do it ask me it looks pretty good behind a bronco with the new tiger moth in tow i quickly set sail for cosby tennessee and more specifically, Romestead, a beautiful private campground nestled right outside the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. This is where our maiden voyage begins. Whoa. Oh, hopefully that shot looks cool, but we've got the trailer backed up. And the attacks a tiger moth. Honestly, I think it's kind of in the perfect position. Hopefully, it'll be level because I do not have leveling blocks yet. Uh, something that I probably should have purchased in advance, but I didn't. But, man, look at this site. So, Romestead is kind of like a glamping campground, but, you know, still that rustic feel. Obviously, still natural elements to it. A little bit more separate than, you know, some other RV campgrounds. Uh, but I wanted somewhere that I could do a little bit more of a dry run with my camper before I really get everything going. But the best part is, is that this door literally opens up to this rushing creek. So this is going to be so nice in the morning when I wake up, open up the big door and just get to look outside. And I'm, I'm going to get to listen to the water rush all night. So this is a pretty sweet spot. They hooked it up for me last minute. So, uh, Thank you very much to the folks at Romestead for uh, accepting my last minute reservation so that I can give uh, my Taxa Tiger Moth a little shot here, man. Let's get it uh, leveled out and let's start making our dinner. So I bought this sushi earlier for, it was supposed to be kind of my lunch when I got here, but uh, because I've never set up a trailer before, like, um, decoupled it leveled it and all that good stuff it took me a little longer than i'd like to admit but 
I will say it is tasting great right now because it is cold out there. It's just below freezing. Um, so I am sipping on some tin cup whiskey with Swepp's ginger ale and a little bit of Martinelli's apple juice. Delicious mixture if you uh, were wondering. Hopefully that'll keep me warm tonight. Got a little electric heater. I've kind of tucked it a little closer to my dog Kato. He's also enjoying his dinner. So we're here in the Taxa Tiger Moth. And honestly, like I feel like this is exactly what it was meant for. And it feels really good. So I'm excited to continue to use this. I've already seen some things that I feel like I can come up with some improvements for. And just so that it works for me. So I'm going to finish my maybe dinner and uh, we'll continue the night. Might do a fire tonight. Might wake up early and do a fire in the morning while I make breakfast. Who knows? So previously I had on my Devos Light Ranger. I wanted to show you what it looks like if you're just running the Tiger Moss backlight. I actually really like it. It like, literally gives you just enough light to see what you're working on. So, just boiling a hot cup of water. So this is perfect. I'm not disrupting anybody else at camp, but I can get my water boiling. So, trying out a little late night dessert. Haven't had any hot food tonight, so thought I'd throw in a quick one of these getting kind of situated for the night I'm gonna lay out my blanket and pillow up there Kato's already kind of found himself sleeping and um, we get this light shut down at camp pretty quick so good night so just a little peek a little peek no that's not a screensaver that is the actual view and we got one door latch over here and one door latch over there. That's it, man. That's the real view. So I am mostly finished packing up camp. Uh, we're heading back home today, but last things first first things last well essentially I need to make breakfast I wanted to show neat little so I use uh, two front runner uh, I think these are the new wolf packs to uh, kind of carry all my camp stuff uh, and they fit perfectly under the seat here and I use a stretch it another front runner product uh, to secure them so I was actually pretty happy with how that works Taxa leaves a lot of these little circular kind of um, mounting holes or tie down points so just kind of they put them all over the place so you can kind of get creative and do different things for what you need but this works perfectly to keep my boxes from sliding around all I need is one stretch it there but you could use two and crisscross them if you wanted some extra security but anyway I also kind of forgot to show you that, so obviously we have the big goal wing that opens, but then you also have your back entry, and so you just get this whole like wrap around view when you're sitting here, man, and so this is perfect. So, and my cook station is over here, that's where we make breakfast. After I'm done geeking out on the view, time for some eggs, some turkey sausage, and uh, I think that's it. Let's go.